Now, members of the legal profession are worried that the hallowed principle of English justice or the jury is under threat by the very modern phenomenon of the internet. The Attorney General, judges and lawyers representing prosecution and defence have all voiced concerns that some jurors are using search engines like Google and social networking sites like Twitter away from the courtrooms, which is feared could influence or inform them prejudicially. So, could we trust ourselves on a jury and are juries still something that we trust and believe in? Well, um, yeah, I think that's a point. Um, and, and it is easy to get swayed, but, you know, I would trust myself. And I think, you know, I would, I would be able to go into a court, whatever I'd seen before, and, and you know, make, make a proper judgment on what I'd heard in the court. But the problem is, I think the problem more, more so is not just um, outside information, but also... Um, the brilliance of some lawyers and barristers and how clever they are, you know, at, at, at defending some people who are quite, you know, obviously guilty. Mm. And I think a lot of people can be swayed by that. But, you know, having said that, it's not foolproof, but I still think it's, I think it's the best system. The fairest Because system. what else is there? You know, what do you do? Do you have just the mm. state or a state-appointed person to deal with all prosecution? And mm. I think... That is a really, really dangerous road to go down. I think you have to be tested by your peers. It's a hard thing, though, isn't it, to accept that there's 12 people that have got completely different views, completely different upbringings, making decisions that big. Mm. And, you know, and also it's very, very difficult to come into a courtroom and leave your emotions behind. I know personally I wouldn't be able to um, look at it with a clear view without being emotional first about it. Well, it depends um, what it is, though, well, it depends, it? of course, what but it is. You shouldn't I, be unemotional about it. No, you I know, was never there's... allowed to be on the jury because my dad was a policeman. I always sort of wanted to be and uh, see, you know, sort of the experience. I've you know, you, you talk about this kind of, you know, the 12 people with very different backgrounds. I think, actually, that's the brilliance of a jury. Is when you select a jury and you put them together, it's about selecting the right blend of people that have that variety of backgrounds and uh, that, that can bring something different to the party that are going to create a level of debate whereby somebody is tried fairly. Mm. And I think it's, it's a really, uh, you know, I think it's kind of inspired. And when it comes to the brilliance of lawyers, I totally understand what you're saying. But, you know, thankfully, we have a judge in place who should monitor that and, and they filter it through. They sometimes. Yeah, and call, they do. And yeah. they'll say overruled or, you know, yeah. withdrawn. And, and they do, they do, they do. They run, they run their court. Um, what I would find difficult, and where I think maybe things could be opened up a little, is I think at the end of the day, as a member of the jury, I would have questions that I would like to put forward. I think it's very hard to just sit there and only work with the information that you, you've been given, rather than being able to challenge yourself. Yeah. You know, I suppose it becomes a bit of a... I think there was me, you see, they, they wouldn't ask the me, I don't think. <laughs> because I'd be so emotive. Because you've seen those films, haven't you? When that lawyer's in there and you know he's manipulating yeah. the, those jurors and you want to get up. You see, I have to get up and go, I'm sorry. I have to say something That's what now. I mean, yeah. You know, I'm sorry about this. Not at the end. I'd have to do it meanwhile. <laughs> and I think that's the only thing, is that you, you know you're being Straight, manipulated. Yeah. Now, if you know you're being manipulated as a juror, what do you do? Do you sit there and not say anything? Because when you get out, you've only got the jurors, because you can't talk to anybody else, can you? No, yeah, but you're not supposed to. But you're not supposed to. So I'd be so angry. Yes, but your power is silent. Your power is that you can you can yeah, choose you to be, be swayed by that or say see it for what it is. But don't forget, oh, I mean, no. these guys there are actually upholding the law. They're such so it's good not actors, these barristers, though, aren't they? Always. Yeah, you yeah, but they're not. Well, hang on a minute. They're we're tarnishing everybody for that with the same brush here. Yeah. For everybody that can can put a good spin on things, there are people that are in that profession because they truly believe in justice and they. I think it's the right, the, you know, they're, they're there to uphold the law. Think of Gregory Peck into Kill a Mockingbird. There you go. Me, I can tell you now. No. If I were there. <laughs>